to you by Geico. Aaron, obviously not the end result you would have liked, but you got two arms back. What did you think of Montgomery? Uh, I thought Monty looked pretty good. I thought his his uh, breaking ball wasn't real sharp, um, although he, I thought he finished strong with it. I thought he threw some good ones to, to Les in his second inning of work, um, but struggled, you know, getting the bite on that pitch um, his first, you know, several times with it. I thought he flashed some good change-ups. I thought the arm speed was good and, and threw some good fastballs. So, you know, got hit around a little bit, but um, I thought another good step for him and, and saw some good things. I was going to say, what do you take away from this outing and then what's next? Next for him, I mean, that's a long, long road back, and this is a you know a young man and a and a guy that's already had success at the big league level. And when you have a major injury and and all the hard work that goes into getting back, um, for him to be put himself in this position, you know, to get out there um, this final month, um, you know, a lot of credit goes to Monty. And I thought I thought he went out and threw the ball pretty well. Again, just not real sharp with his breaking ball, and that that hurt him a little bit. Did you like what you saw from Patances? I did, man. I, you know, really good. Uh, you know, his first time pitching after just one day off, so that's why, uh, you know, obviously went a little shorter with him, just the two hitters. But, um, you know, stayed in his delivery, didn't try and, you know, overdo anything. Um, obviously showed command. Um, you know, I said, you know, you're a command guy now. And uh, <laughs> it was it was really good to see him compound the strike zone how he wanted to. And, um, again, another step for him as well. It looked like he forgot there were only two outs, not three in the inning. Did you guys give him a hard time about that? Um, Dellen? Yeah. Uh, like he didn't know they were. Yeah. It looked like he thought he was out of the inning. Oh, he did? I, did, I didn't even notice that because I was debating because he was so efficient with those first two and I had kind of planned to let's two hitters and, and kind of get him out of there but he was so efficient I was kind of kicking around debating going with the third hitter but um, just wanted to get him out of there on a really good note and so I didn't even see that. That's exactly what you mean by like going in forward getting guys out at this level because he was pretty confident that he could still do that. Yeah I mean you know for Dellen you know what Look, what makes him special is, you know, I, you know, I guess the fastball, breaking ball combination. But, you know, it's it's, you know, his size, his presence out there that creates kind of a different angle and a different look where things get on a hitter. But, you know, the the slider and curveball are, you know, elite pitches. Um, you know, and, and and again, hopefully we we continue to see the tick up of the fastball. It was good to see him look like he was mostly around 94 today, consistently there. Um, so again, hopefully this is another step in him kind of building up. But to have him come out and be as sharp with his command as he was was encouraging. Knowing what he can mean to the bullpen, was there any type of a buzz at all today? Excitement, the fact that he was coming back. I think there was excitement seeing him walk through the room. You know. Um, Again, a long, long season for him and trying to get back. Um, he's obviously beloved in there, and he's been such an important part of this team now for a long time. Um, so to see him in here, you know, obviously he's around a lot, and we see him all the time, but knowing that he was an active player today, um, I know a lot of guys were probably very excited for him. What would be next for him? What would you want to see from him next? Dylan? Just continue to pitch. I mean, uh, we'll see if he's in play uh, Tuesday when we start the homestand. Um, but now just continue to build up, and hopefully with the repetitions, um, you know, the stuff continues to tick up, his confidence continues to tick up, and hopefully he can put himself in a position to be a, an impact guy for us moving forward. Will you try back-to-backs in these next at two some, weeks? Uh, at some point, we would hope to get to that point, yeah. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't expect it any time this homestand or whatever, but hopefully, you know, we get to a point where uh, there's a back-to-back -back in there. But we'll just keep taking it a step at a time right now. How important is it to have to